Alrighty, how's it going y'all? It's your girl Melissa and welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play World. Last episode, we went and built this pretty cute beacon build behind me, like pagoda style. Um, I think I said in that episode, it's not my forte, but I did think, I do think it came out. It came out alright. <laughs> in this episode, we are going to do a super smelter. If we're gonna continue this world, we need a super smelter. I have an idea of like what I want it to be, like the general shape and how it looks and all that. Um, it's really just a matter of where am I gonna put it? Cause I kind of, I kind of want it somewhat close to all of our uh, materials up here. So I'm almost thinking that maybe we flatten out an area up here. That's really the only thing that I'm struggling with right now. If we clear this out a little bit, like flatten it out a little bit more, I think we I think this area here could be could be doable. And I know I definitely want to kind of like put like almost like a lava farm in it too. Oh man. I have I have a really I have I have it pictured in my mind. It's just a matter of where I'm gonna put it. I know that air that area right there I'm going to designate for our eventual like actual sniffer farm that we don't have to worry about going and running and getting torch flower seeds and whatnot and it just does it for us. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think we're gonna go ahead and flatten out this area here. And terraform so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go do that real quick okay so I think I generally like this shape so you come up here and the entrance can be somewhere around here you know what I mean I think this should be enough room for kind of what I'm thinking about I think yeah I think I hope but hold on <laughs> Maybe this, there we go. That That's a little bit smoother, I think, I think. And then um, over here, I think, instead of just making it dirt, I think we'll put in a, a nice looking retaining wall is what I think we'll do. So by the power of editing, here she is. Uh, looks pretty good, in my opinion. I dig it, I dig it. Um. Yeah, we just flattened out this big area. Ignore this for now. I was trying to make something work. Um, I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't, I mean, I've watched a couple tutorials, but like, I don't quite know what I'm doing. I had an, I had a vision and it's not working <laughs> the way I imagined. Um, overall, I really like the look of our, uh, of our retaining wall for sure it definitely makes me kind of want to uh extend it more if you would maybe like coming around over here um and wrapping around here maybe uh and even over here where i want the uh sniffer farm to be if you would so I, de I definitely like the look of it. I think it looks really cool. Um, I do kind of want to put some trees down around it. So I'm going to grab a couple of cherry blossoms and a couple of oaks real quick. Here we go. That should be good. Okay. Let's get out here. I definitely think back here, defi it definitely needs something. Definitely needs something. And I think the answer is trees. So if we, let me see, if we go ahead and perhaps put an oak here. There we go. And then maybe, uh, I don't want it to like hit that, but I feel like right here. Oh yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Okay. And then um, right here. Yes. Okay. Coming together. I love it. Maybe right here for another cherry. Ooh, yeah. Okay. 
This is actually turning out so cute. Okay, and then maybe one more oak, like right, right here. I think that look. I think that looks good. I think. Let's let's turn around and see. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of into it. Brings a little something extra. Yeah, you know what? I actually really love that. Yeah, okay, cool. I love it. I love it. It's possible I might need one more tree, though. Like, around here? Like, if I took a tree, like, right here... Ooh. Okay, it's, it's a bush, but that's okay. I think it looks good. Yeah, that's much better. Much better, much better. Okay. Let's put this away now. Let's put our little uh, foliage away. But yeah, like I was saying, I was trying to do this by myself and it really wasn't working out the way that I wanted it to. So, um, like, okay, my vision was to have it all come out into like a dispenser and then it dispenses it into like a water um, thing. Like it, like you could watch it like flow by sort of thing. And then it like, hits a chest and that's where you get your your results if you would but it like I did like a little redstone clock thing to make it go and stuff like that but it just like wasn't working out for me <laughs> I think it might be too small for the um the river thing because it would be right right in here so and then surrounded by glass but yeah, uh, this is like the general shape that I want the um, super smelter to be in and then build up around it like that. I think I think this can work. I am going to go and check out a tutorial real quick um, because I know I'm going to need some rails and stuff. Um, and I just need to I need to see how to do that because I don't know exactly how to do that. I got this part. This part was easy. <laughs> the, the next part is not so easy to me. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just saw, um, what is it? I craft MC's tutorial and uh, I'll be taking this down because <laughs> I really like his little uh, tutorial on like this little square. I, I don't know how to explain it. It just looks so much better. <laughs> It makes so much more sense. Like, I mean, yeah, it would be kind of cool to, like, see all the furnaces facing in. But, like, does it matter? Really? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, my gosh. Okay, cool. Yeah, I love that. I love this uh, idea so much better. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, first off, we want to place a couple of chests down. Perfect. And then we want to make um, a circle of hoppers, if you would. So I honestly, I based on like his tutorial, I think this could be like any size. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than what he has. So if we go like this and if we go like like this I think I think it'll all end up going here let me see let's just throw things around here I just want to make sure nothing is being left yeah looks good looks great okay continuing on yeah I love this so much better and it'll be a lot easier to build around I think too yes 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 yay I love it and now, what we'll do is place our fern eye out and about like so. Love it. Love to see it. Okay. And then I'm going to go grab more hoppers down here in my little shulker box that I've accumulated. I just kind of went ham and just made a whole bunch of stuff. I had no idea what, I, what exactly I was going to use, but... I was just like, all right, well, I know I'm going to use it, so might as well make it. So, we put hoppers going down, 
into our fern eye. Like so. Perfect. I know I have I haven't made any tracks yet though. That's the one thing. Okay. Yeah, I need it. I need to uh, achieve some some rails here. Let me see if I have any in here. No. What about in here? Do I have it? No. Let's see. Okay, so I need. I don't know how much I need. I think powered rails require gold. And then I think we'll need some blocks of redstone. Okay, let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. Let's check this out. Rails? No. Nope, that's not correct. There we go. Okay. Six powered rails. I think that should do it. Maybe. I don't know. Here we go. Here's some regular rails. I'm not... I, I honestly... I mean... He tells us what we need, but I don't... Uh, um, mine's a little bit bigger. That's what he said. And then he said to... So, okay. Okay, okay. We've got to put down our regular rails on the corners here. Yeah. And then powered rails on the straightaways. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then, let me see. I don't think... Is that going to work? I don't think so. Oops. That doesn't work. My bad. How about that? Okay. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. And that, and that should, that should power all of them, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. That looks great. Okay, so this particular one, uh, I don't think he has, like, an automatic way of putting in fuel into these guys. I think that is good, though. Um, because my plan is to basically have lava, um, being made all the way up until here uh that way i can just scoop up lava and then put them in all of our furnaces how many furnaces uh we've got 12 right 12 furnaces yes um so we could have like six on each side sort of deal and then we just go around and replace all of the uh all the stuff I think that is a pretty solid plan, if I do say so myself. Uh, so what we need is actually a ch chest. And then we put the uh, chest in the minecart, just like a so. And then we put it on here and we have to push it to get it going, like so. Okay. So then, now that we have this contraption, if you would, um, let's actually go ahead, I think, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make, maybe make something like this. That way we can hop up here and maybe easier. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I like that a lot better. I like that a lot better. Okay. So now what I want to do, um, as we... Like I said before, as we walk up, I want uh, some lava generating on either side here. So we'll put uh, cauldrons with our dripstone above it. Six on each side for our 12 um, thingamabobs. So if we go like this, all right. Mm, yeah, this should be all right. Should be all right, I think. Well, what if we... Hold on. I'm completely winging this. Sorry. <laughs> I've thought about this, but things are just not... Not lining up in my head the way I thought that they would. So, what if... Okay, what if we, what if we walked in here, we turn around. On this side over here, we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Please excuse all this down here. 
and then you walk in and you look over here this is where all of your lava is and then you come back around here and you drop them off in the smelter okay you know what i think i think the vision the vision is here the vision is upon us okay yay okay <laughs> sorry that took so long oh my goodness i had a vision and then i had to change it and yes i left it empty come at me <laughs> okay so let's go ahead let's get um let's make up some cauldrons i think yes just like that and then we go and we put them down and then we can actually i think it would be kind of cool to maybe put like a chest put chest at the end there and any no you know what no i'm gonna put the chest on the other side here so like over here we can have a chest that has uh any excess lava okay yeah let's go let's uh get some drip let's sleep this night off first of all and then we'll go and get some dripstone and work on that okay i think i have my dripstone actually up here i only have a little bit Where's my actual dripstone? I don't know. Okay, hold on. I know where I can get some. Whoa, that was close. Did you see that? <laughs> Holy moly. Was not expecting that. Oh yeah, I never oh, I never showed you guys. Hold on. Uh here. Let's go ahead and take the minecart down. A little sidetracked right here. A little uh side quest, if you would. I never did show you guys that insane cave that I broke into when I was uh, mining all those diamonds for our uh, armor trims and duplication of those. I'm trying to remember if there was maybe any dripstone in there. But yeah, you can see I basically mined all the way down to any time I hit lava. You see all of my mining there too. I think this is where I stopped. No, that one. All the way down there is where I stopped. But yeah, you can just see. It goes on quite, <laughs> quite a bit. I think I started, I think I only had like three or four lines done. Yeah, where, where the torches, the torches start. That's where I was starting and I did all of that. It was a lot, it was a lot. <laughs> but yeah, so. At this this very end one down here I broke into a massive 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 cave so I'll show you guys real quick because I was I was like what it definitely helped with my uh, diamond um, endeavor because there was a lot of exposed diamond because the cave is so large it was so large and so in charge you know it only takes like two minutes to walk all the way down here <laughs> Okay, yeah, I've got this marked out like this. Look, there's even diamonds still on the ceiling over there. But yeah, so this isn't even it. First off, there's like a mine shaft, which is crazy. Absolutely insane. But yeah, lava lakes. Lava lakes for days, dude. And there's uh, some sort of spawner over there. I don't remember. I want to say it was a spider spawner. But yeah, just so much. And it goes on forever, dude. Like, let's see. Oof. Yeah, see this? Insane. Absolutely insane. Look at all the glow squid down here. My god. But yeah, look at this. Like, holy moly, dude. I heard that. I heard somebody. Now, I'm trying to think if there was a dripstone cave around here. I want to say that there was. There's a lush cave. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, see how large this is? <laughs> it's so huge. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some of this drippy drips. Dripping out in the dripstone. Am I right? Are y'all so ready for 1.21? I am. I'm very ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool. 
honestly, I didn't, I haven't flown through here because I wanted to make sure that I was getting all of the diamonds and lighting everything up as I went. But dang, yeah. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> this ins absolutely insane cave that I broke into like a long time ago now. <laughs> Look at it. I can't, I can't stop now. I haven't fully flown through it like this and it's just wow. Wowie wowie, right? I can't get enough of it to be honest. <laughs> Those squid are killing me, dude. Go, 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 it. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Let's head back up. I just wanted to show y'all. Shaboom. Now we're here. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Oh, sad rain day. Sad rainy day. Oh, uh, if so, I know y'all, most of y'all have. Uh, subscribe to my channel for my Minecraft content because that's all I've really ever posted but um, if you haven't seen I've been playing a decent amount of started Stardew Valley um, because I love that game first of all and uh, uh, yeah I love that game love 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 um, and they recently came out with an update so I've been playing that update and I love it so much. I haven't played it in like a really long time. If you're into farming sims like that, like, you know, you like cozy games like Minecraft and Harvest Moon and all that jazz, I, I would like go check it out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's not doing as well as I thought it would, but, but I am loving playing it. I, I used to play a lot of it back in the day if you would yeah i'm really i really am loving playing so if you want more more content go check it out like for real a shameless plug or whatevs okay so now what we need to do is put some larva on top of here is that gonna reach okay okay I think, yeah, I think we just need one lava source. Will it reach all the way down here? Reaches there, reaches there. What about this guy right here? This little guy. This little guy on the end? How about it, bud? You gonna, you gonna drip for me? I just need, I think, okay, so I think I need two lava sources for each of these. Cause it doesn't seem to be reaching that, that far area. So we'll just go we'll just go ahead and grab this one since we're not really gonna need it anymore, right? Shoot. Then we can finally break that ugly thing that's literally been there since like day one. There we go. Now that that should do it. This one should be dripping now. Yes. Yay! Okay, so we need two lava sources for those. Okay, cool. And then once these are all filled up, we fill these guys up. Hey, things are looking up. Things are looking up. Okay, I think it's almost time to start building, really. Ooh, it's so exciting. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna line this out real quick. Let me see. Cool. Okay, awesome. I think we have a general plan now. Like, and we'll mark this out as like kind of like our entrance here. Now this build is going to be like very, I guess, industrial. Um, so there's not going to be, it's not going to be super cutesy. It's not. I think it's definitely going to be very, um, almost medieval. Because I'm feeling like I want to raise that up and then just have the entire thing just smoking. You know what I mean? I'm hoping that y'all can like see my vision that's going on. <laughs> I definitely don't think it's going to be the best ever. But I think it'll look, I, it, it will definitely do the job, let me tell you. So now that I have the, uh, the, um, brain child, if you would, just sitting there waiting to emerge, um, I'm gonna go collect uh, a whole bunch of different stones that I'm gonna use for this build. And if I do use, I might use a little bit of nether wood, um, more than likely the, uh, the warped, 
um, just to kind of continue the uh, the tealish theme that I have going on over here. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that real quick and I will see you guys when she's all done. Okay, this is what I've got so far. I think I'm I'm actually kind of digging it. I wasn't I wasn't quite sure what I was doing really. And I still don't. <laughs> but um yeah, I think I got the uh this part, this towery part kind of where I want it. Especially like coming around, like if you look at it from far away, it looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie. And I definitely wanted to go with darker stone to contrast uh, with the uh, lighter stone wall. That way it's not just all one big blob of stone, if you would. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna continue working on this. I'm, I'm quite pleased. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a warped, uh, warped, uh, wood roof warped wood roof say that 10 times fast <laughs> uh amongst this to cover all of this part and then leave the the stony tower area i think that'll look really good and then we'll do the uh we'll do the interior um kind of industrial i'm thinking uh making these kind of arched uh, the entrance to this and the entrance to this and then we'll make kind of like a storage situation for all of our goodies that we want to smelt up and we'll make sure that this looks good too and we want to make sure that like we have access to all of the furnaces since we do have to um, manually put in our fuel so and Everything's working here, so that's really cool. I'm really excited about that. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on it. I think we're officially done with our super smelter and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Before I show y'all though, before I forget, we're gonna name our well cat. Somebody suggested naming him Puss in Socks as opposed to Puss in Boots because it looks like he's wearing little white socks. It's adorable. I love it. And you may hear my um, son trilling in the background. He's just, you know, really happy. <laughs> so, now we've got Puss in Socks. He guards our well. Very cute. Very cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and head up here and check out what we got. Look at that. So, I decided against the warped because I had a lot of extra copper from our museum build. So I decided to do that and it kind of got me the same kind of look that I was that I was going for. Um, I love the smoke. Um, so I have a couple of campfires in the middle that are on top of hay bales so that the smoke goes higher. And then all around it, I have just regular campfires. So they, they're a little lower. And I think it really gives this like more at the bottom like tapers to the top kind of look and uh an additional little chimney i actually really love this <laughs> i uh also surrounded it with a couple of trees the whole cherry oak kind of deal um let's go inside it's really nothing special inside because like i'm like what do i re really do but this is kind of like what i envisioned like you walk in i did put some smokers and some blast furnace just because we only have regular furnaces if i want something smelted faster i could just throw them in here real quick um we've got some storage here um i've got a few buckets in here i'm working on filling up all these um some cute little like surfaces i put candles on here i think they look really nice i like how the black candles match the black stone so well and then this, over here is our little lava farm 
and that way I can come over here, I can grab buckets, and go shoop, shoop, and shoop, and then I know there's a couple of furnaces that are missing buckets. There we go. This one too, is that it? I think that's it. Okay, all of them are filled up with buckets now of lava, and so basically it's pretty much ready to go. Whatever I need to smelt down, whether it be the uh, smooth basalt, smooth quartz, smooth anything, cracked stuff, whatever, I can just come in here and it is ready to go and I'll get everything in here. I put some glowstone under there, that way it lights all this up. Um, because as much as I love the look of soul lanterns, they don't do much as far as lighting. Um, as well as putting glowstone underneath some light gray carpet, and I think it blends in really well. Really good hitting, hidden lighting. But yeah, I think it looks really cool. Very, very cool. Very, like, definitely the look that I was going for. But yeah, I'm gonna, I guess I'll do like a quick fly around here, give you a... A better look from the uh, outside here. Shoop, shoop, shoop. There we go. Yeah, you can see her right over there. Let's see if we can get maybe a better view. I don't know. I think it looks really cool. I think it. I think it brings like a really good addition to our little base here that we've got going on. Yeah, you see all those campfires. Crazy. But yeah, oh man, I I do love this. I love this a lot. And looking looking at it all like this, I definitely want to kind of connect these two up. Uh, like I said before, we'll put our sniffer farm, like our torch flower farm and stuff, right here. And I think kind of extending that uh that wall or at least making another one right here will look really really good really good but yeah i'm so happy about this i think it looks so good let me know what you think like is there anything that i can add to make it a little bit more wowy wowy uh or like do you think it's good like i wanted to make it like all stone that way it's like, oh, it's made out of wood, it's gonna burn down, sort of thing. Like, it's a, it's a smelter, so you kind of want it to make, be made out of, like, stone so it doesn't burn down, right? So that's kind of what I was going for. I'm not the best at, like, uh, what is it called? Gradients? But I think I did an okay job. I think I did alright. But yeah, I can definitely see myself getting better at building, um, as this, uh, thing goes on this uh this world progresses i mean let, let, let's take let's just take a quick look at my starter house honestly honestly not the best not the best the roof is kind of wonky it's just like this this thing i think i could do better like part of me almost wants to like tear it down and like revamp it but at the same time i kind of want to keep it the way it is because it definitely shows my progress as a builder um using a lot more dimension in my builds and whatnot um but we won't talk about this one i as i said before japanese style is not my strong suit so this is a real challenge for me and you know i was kind of thinking oh first Let's actually make this official. Let's tear this down. We will never have to see this again. Ever, ever. Let's grab a piece of dirt real quick. I don't have any dirt. And boom. Wow, look at that. Gone. Gone forever. We never needed- We never needed to see it again. I love it. Love to see it. But yeah, I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, I feel like we haven't done that much in this world. But then I was flying around and I'm like, you know, actually, like we built this mu museum. We have all of this, not to mention the incredible mine shaft that I made. I'm, s this is like, I would hang out in here like all the time. 
like incredible so good so good and then not to mention our little uh, storage up here and then this going over to our village which we absolutely killed i think look at that look at that and then our fields our windmill our trading halls dude I, like i was thinking i was like oh you know we really didn't do much we haven't done much i feel like our progress is so slow but looking at our looking at our world right now i'm kind of just like wow i'm actually doing pretty well for a mama that has limited time and i can't wait to start really like connecting things up like connecting the museum up over there to over here i think that's gonna be really cool and then of course spawn island i already i already know basically what i'm gonna do for spawn island but yeah let's go sleep this this sad cold rainy night off because that's pretty sad that's pretty sad Alrighty, i think that's gonna do for this episode i'm gonna wrap it up right here um super proud of this let me know what you think in the comments um if y'all did enjoy this episode go ahead and hit that like button that subscribe button they don't bite and i will see y'all in the next one bye Thank you.